Hey guys, it's Sierra, and today I want to show you how to make these super cool planters for all your plant needs. Look at those. So cool. Wow. Ooh. Alright, so some of the materials that I used for this project are I used this Modern Craft Labs silicone mold. Uh, this one was a 4 inch tulip planter mold. There it is. And that made this pot. And then the other one I used has ridges, and that one was called 3 inch ridge planter. I found them on Etsy, and the molds basically have this hard casing around them and inside is a soft silicone mold. You pour the material into this area. I'm gonna show you how to make the pot. It's super easy. You can use a couple different materials. For this project, we used probably the cheapest material, which was the cementol. I think this giant box was about $7 at Home Depot. Other than that, you just need something to mix in and some water. So, let's go. Okay, so for the, we're gonna work on the larger mold first, and that one's going to take two of these, well, it's basically two parts, but this cup is about eight ounces, so I'm gonna do 16 ounces of the cement. And the measurement doesn't have to be exact because you're looking for a certain consistency. It's basically four, four parts to one um, cement to water. So I've got uh, two eight ounce cups of cement and I'm gonna pour a half, about a half a cup of water. And now I'm gonna shake this. I'm gonna tighten it so it doesn't spray all over. All right, so I shook it a bunch. You can stir it or shake it, either one. And it looks a little bit too chunky still. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water. We wanna get a cake batter consistency. All right, so stirring this takes a long time, but if you're not great at shaking a jar or don't have a jar with a lid, then stir it. So we're gonna try this out. It's just about the consistency. And we're just gonna pour it into the mold. I'm gonna give it some shakes to try to get some of the air bubbles out. Okay, so now that it's full, I'm gonna put this, pla this hard plastic sleeve over it. And I'm gonna kinda scoot it out of the way because that one's gonna start to set. All right, so for the small one, it's basically the same thing. Um, you know, your mix is, if it's thicker, it's going to take a little bit longer to pour into the mold. Like this one's a little thicker. And if it's thinner, it's going to pour in faster. It will take longer to set, but be easier to pour. And uh, you don't really have to worry about chunks too much in there. I mean, a smooth consistency is ideal, but um, it's okay. They pretty much even out once they're settling. All right, so now these guys have to set for about an hour. Um, if you are using the thicker batch of mixed concrete, then they actually set fairly fast. Um, I think one of our batches set in about 15 minutes, um, but the thinner stuff takes about an hour. So I have the smaller of the two molds 
and I'll show you how I take it out. So if um, if your mix was very thin, which this one at the end was thin, it could crack on the bottom, which is exactly what happened. Now the big one is a little more challenging and I don't know if I can do it actually so we'll see. If I can't do it I'm gonna have to get my man hands out. Okay, so if you want like more of a textured look, you could leave um, your mixture chunkier. And then if you wanted a really smooth look, you could make sure that all the chunks were out of your mixture. So that's it. And I think it's pretty fun to be able to make your own pots. Um, maybe someday I'll have a, a pottery wheel and I can actually, you know, get bigger pots. All right guys, thanks for watching and please like this video and subscribe so yeah see you soon <laughs>